So, this morning we're going to read something from chapter 4, text number 35 in the Bhagavad Gita. So, we'll divide this into four times, so each one of you, you can please respond. Repeat. Yasgyat Bana Punar Moham Evam Yasya Sipandava Yena Bhutan Yasheshani Draksyas Yatman Yato Mayi Yasgyat Bana Punar Moham Evam Yasya Sipandava Yena Bhutan Yasheshani Draksyas Yatman Yato Mayi Yasgyat Bana Punar Moham Evam Yasya Sipandava Yena Bhutan Yasheshani Draksyas Yatman Yato Mai के शाश्वत आध्यात्मिक संबंधों से अधिक महत्वपूर्ण है 
गीता का संपूर्ण उपदेश इसी और लक्षित है कि कृष्ण का नित्य दास होने के कारण जीव उनसे पृथक नहीं हो सकता कृष्ण से अपने को गलत मानना ही माया के कारण है पर ब्रह्मत के भिन्न अंश के रूप में जीवों का एक विशिष्ट उद्देश्य पूरा करना होता है इस उद्देश्य को भूलने के कारण ही वे अनादि काल से मानव पशु देवता आदि के रूप में स्थित है ऐसे शारीरिक अंतर भगवान की दिव्य सेवा के विस्मरण से जनित है किंतु जब कोई कृष्ण भावना के माध्यम से दिव्य सेवा में लग जाता है तो वह इस माया से तुरंत मुक्त हो जाता है ऐसा ज्ञान केवल प्रामाणिक गुरु से ही प्राप्त हो सकता है और इस तरह वह इस भ्रम को दूर कर सकता है कि जीव कृष्ण के तुल्य है पूर्ण ज्ञान यह है कि परमात्मा कृष्ण समस्त जीवों के परम आश्रय है और इस आश्रय को त्याग देने पर जीव माया द्वारा मोहित होते हैं क्योंकि वे अपना अस्तित्व पृथक समझते हैं इस तरह विभिन्न भौतिक पहचानों में और पहचानों के मानदंडों के अंतर्गत वे कृष्ण को भूल जाते हैं किंतु जब ऐसे जीव कृष्ण भावना में स्थित होते हैं तो यह समझ आता है कि वे मुक्ति पथ पर है जिसकी पुष्टि भागवत में की गई है मुक्ति मुक्तिकार है कृष्ण के नित्य दास में कृष्ण भावना में अपनी स्वाभाविक स्थिति पर होना ओम अज्ञनाथ मृंद ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुर उन्मील जैना थाजमये श्री गुरुवे नम I was born in the darkest ignorance and my spiritual master opened my eyes with the torch of knowledge I offer my respectful obeisances unto him So this is a very important shloka in the Bhagavad Gita this 435 is very uh, meaningful if we look back a little bit before we come back to this 435 verse if we look at chapter 2 we'll also see something very important to iske purv shlok ko agar hum dekhenge yudh ke adhyay mein to wahan par bhi hum kuch vishesh arth payenge In the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, text number twelve, Krishna makes a very strong statement. Krishna and Arjun were on the chariot in the battlefield of Kurukshetra five thousand years ago. Krishna and Arjun. महाभारतीफ्यूज He was a great warrior. He was so powerful, but he couldn't bring his mind to agree to fight on the battlefield because he didn't want to kill Grandfather Bhishma. He didn't want to kill his guru Dronacharya. He didn't want to kill his uh, family members. So. अर्जुन बहुत ही बड़े योद्धा थे लेकिन वे अपने मन को नहीं मना सके युद्ध करने के लिए वो नहीं चाहते थे कि विष्णु पितामा द्रोणाचार्य उनको मारे कृष्ण हैड टू एक्सप्लेन टू अर्जुन दैट हिज डियर ग्रैंडफादर बीजमा विल नेवर डाई ही हैड टू टेल हिम दैट बिकॉज़ अर्जुन वाज वरी दैट बीजमा वुड डाई ऑन द बैटलफील्ड अर्जुन को चिंता थी कि भीष्मा कि मृत्यु मृत्यु इसलिए भगवान कोई ऐसा 
Krishna actually was not very impressed by Arjun's mental state. Arjun being bewildered like that, he, he just couldn't bring it to himself that he could possibly kill these family members. So in this chapter 2, text 12, Krishna speaks this nice sentence. Krishna told Arjun on the battlefield, never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all of these kings, nor in the future shall any of us ever cease to be. This is such a powerful statement by Krishna speaking to uh, Arjun. Very powerful. Let's listen one more time. Krishna said, never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in the future shall any of us ever cease to be. Krishna told Arjun that no jiva will ever die. And if when you read Bhagavad Gita in chapter 2, starting around uh, the 11th verse of chapter 2, about 20 slokas, Krishna is explaining to Arjun how the soul can never die. So it, it did take some time for Arjun to accept what Krishna had said, but still uh, Krishna benefited Arjun because Arjun slowly but surely as the Bhagavad Gita went on, the conversation between them, Arjun started to understand Krishna's point. So, now we understand word for word from Krishna that I'm looking now, I'm looking on this side, the Matajis are there sitting very nicely, the Prabhus are sitting here, uh, so many of us are gathered together in this nice temple. We know now from what Krishna said that not any of us sitting here will ever die. We will never die. We will live forever. People think of death as being the body dying. People think like that. The body has died. The body didn't die because the body was never alive. So we cannot say the body died. The body already was not alive. We've spoken about this many times. This body is simply made of earth, water, fire, air, and space. It is Panch Bhuta. It is energy that Krishna has sent into this material world so the living entities could exploit the things that Krishna has provided. So, this body is the body of the 
So, now we see one more verse from chapter 15, text 7. We're talking about the Atma, the Jiva. In this 15, 7, Krishna says, Mamai Vamsa Jiva Loke, Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Sanatana means eternal. In the translation, it is described, the living entities in this conditioned world are my eternal fragmental parts. He's saying in 15.7, the same thing that he said in chapter 2. Krishna is saying in 15.7 Bhagavad Gita that the living entities are eternal fragmental parts. They, they are eternal. Sanatana means eternal. Mamai Vamsa Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Sanatana. That Sanskrit word Sanatana means eternal. Sanskrit Shabda Sanatana Arthanditya. So we all should be very happy to understand that we will never die. Not only we won't die, no living entity, no jiva, anywhere in this whole city of Bhopal, none of them will ever die. What is the population approximately, Bhopal? 22 lakhs. 22 lakhs. 22 lakhs. So none of them, no human beings will die. But not even just the human beings, none of these little creatures, these bugs and trees and so many, n none of them will die. So that should help many of us understand that when some family member or some friend, the body falls on the ground, it cannot move, there's no movement in the eyes. We know that that body is just a lump of flesh. It's just like this, some lump of flesh laying on the ground. So many people at a funeral, they say, Oh, my father has died. <laughs> it's such a common thing. Any funeral, they will be crying. Tears will be running. Oh, my mother has died. My cousin has died. My dog has died. They cry over the dog also. <laughs> None of those living beings died. They just changed their body, that's all. <laughs> if this korta I'm wearing becomes worn out, very thin, the, the cloth is very, very thin, and I go to take my kurta off, and I hear this <laughs> means in the back, it ripped the whole back of my kurta. Can I say, oh, my kurta just died? <laughs> <laughs> a quarter cannot die. Not possible. You see? Cannot die. Not possible. So this body also cannot die. 
We have to become clear about this. We will live on and on and on eternally. Actually, the jiva, just like Krishna said, never was there a time. Krishna said, never was there a time when I did not exist, or you, or all the kings, nor in the future shall any of us ever cease to meet. Krishna is saying, we were never born, none of us sitting here, we were never born, and we shall never die. That is very, very good thing for us to understand. तो हम नित्य काल तक जीवित रहते हैं कृष्ण भगवत गीता में हमको बताते हैं ऐसा कभी समय नहीं था कि जब मैं नहीं था तुम नहीं थे ये सब राजा नहीं थे हमारा कभी जन्म नहीं हुआ है और कभी हमारा मृत्यु नहीं होगा यू नो इट्स अ कॉमन थिंग व्हेन यू मीट समवन यू गेट टू नो देम अ लिटिल बिट एंड यू से मेनी पीपल विल से सो They will say, so do you don't mind me asking, how old are you? People sometimes will ask someone, how old are you? Sometimes you ask a child, hey, how old are you? Or there may be some old person or some middle-aged woman and you ask them excuse me how old are you how old are you and how old are you I can promise you one thing I never ask anyone I never ask them how old are you you will never hear me say that to anyone oh how old are you you watch and see when i start coming here more often if if you hear hear me speak something you will not hear me say how old are you so main aapko vachan deta hu aap kabhi bhi mujhse ye shabd nahi sunenge ki main kisi ko prashna kar raha hu ki aapki umr kya i just asked him a very simple practical question how old is that body that's all right how old is that body i don't ask how old are you i'm just asking how old this lump of flesh is this is just a lump of flesh so i'm asking how old is this lump of flesh that's really what we're asking we should be smiling like this You know, sometimes they smile so big, they're so happy, the smile rips right here and it goes this high. <laughs> You're so happy about something. We should be smiling that we now know for certain we're never going to die. It is impossible for us to die. Even if we wanted to die, we cannot die because we're eternal. तो हमें ये जान के बहुत आनंद होगा कि हम कल भी नहीं मरेंगे अगर हम मरना चाहेंगे तब भी हम नहीं मरेंगे सो नाउ आई वांट टू आई वांट टू गो देयर्स टू पैराग्राफ्स इन 435 इन दिस श्लोक ऑफ 435 देयर्स अ one paragraph and then second paragraph i'm going to go to the second paragraph and i want to read a few things and we can discuss we're going to read the second paragraph in this 4 35 shloka is shloka ka tak tak mein do paragraph hain hum dusre paragraph mein se kuch is pari par chacha karenge first of all i want to ask everyone clear now no none of you are going to die is that correct everyone yes shake your head like this we will never die so here krishna says for want of sufficient knowledge in the absolute science you see it in the yes. paragraph okay जिस यहां पर हां हां वर्णित है ब्रह्म विद्या का पर्याप्त ज्ञान न होने के कारण वी आर नाउ कवर्ड विद इल्यूजन हम माया से आवृत हैं एंड देयरफॉर वी थिंक दैट वी आर सेपरेट फ्रॉम कृष्णा इसीलिए हम अपने को कृष्णा से पृथक सोचते हैं सो दिस इज कंप्लीट मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग that we are separate from krishna we are all all 
connected with Krishna. We are not separated from Krishna. We are connected eternally with Krishna. People think only in their mind. They think that we that I am separate from Krishna. I have nothing to do with Krishna. That is a misunderstanding in their mind. We are not ever separated from Krishna. We cannot be separated from Krishna. Why is it that we cannot be separated from Krishna? Because we are a part of Krishna. Because we are a part and parcel of Krishna, we can never be separated from Him. So, what I just have read, that's just one sentence. Now the second sentence. Although we are separated parts of Krishna, we are nonetheless not different from Him. So, we are the energy of Krishna. We are His Jivatma. We are His part and parcel and we are connected eternally with Krishna. Then, the next sentence. The bodily difference of the living entity is Maya or not actual fact. So, this bodily difference of the living entity being Maya, this we are always an eternal person. This illusion comes from Maya because we are wrapped with these material bodies. Sometimes people in the USA they have some kind of a party at their home. They, they send so many invitations to their friends and they want people to come over and they want to dress in such a way that you cannot see who they are. They come in some really strange outfits and you walk around in the house with the guest has invited you so you come and you walk around and uh, that is, what is it called David? What is it? Halloween. 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 It, it's it's not exactly that. Well, Halloween kind of. Costume party. It's called a costume party. Halloween is also a costume party, but in English we use the word costume uh, party. So it's a party mm -hmm. where people dress up in strange ways and they go to some party. <laughs> So, before long, the whole house is filled up with all these weird looking people. They're weird looking because what they dress in is really strange stuff. So, the whole idea of this costume party is to fool people into thinking that they're somebody that they're not. The, the whole idea is to wear some kind of costume that no one can recognize who they are. So guess what? 
nobody really ex can exactly guess, even in this room, nobody can guess who you all are because all of you are wearing this costume party. This, this, this is a costume. This body is a costume that I'm wearing. Prabhuji, you're wearing one also. You might not know that, but I'm telling you now, you're wearing a costume. This is your costume. And the ladies have their costumes on. So, so this is, this is uh, what the situation is. We exist forever and eternally, but temporarily in the material world, we're wearing this body, body costume. It is just a costume only. Now the next sentence, very wonderful sentence, very powerful sentence, very meaningful sentence Prabhupada has put in this chapter 4, text 35. This very important sentence is very short. It is not some long, long sentence. It's a very short sentence. Only seven words. <laughs> Prabhupada writes in here, we are all meant to satisfy Krishna. You can see the seven, seven fingers. We are all meant to satisfy Krishna. We are all connected with Krishna, we are all part of Krishna, and we as Jivatmas, as eternal living souls, we are meant to satisfy Krishna. Krishna has unlimited love. He has a heart that is unlimited. Krishna's heart is completely unlimited. So, we are meant to satisfy Krishna because he is, his heart is so filled with love for his parts and parcels. So we, our business, our life, you can call it our business, our devotional business is to satisfy Krishna. When we join the ISKCON, we should, should have, in the very beginning, understand that we are meant to satisfy Krishna. That's why we came to the temple. We came to worship Krishna, to bow down to Krishna, to please Krishna in so many ways, feed him nicely, be very respectful to him. Your heart can be given to Krishna. We are all meant to satisfy Krishna. Everyone in ISKCON is meant to satisfy Krishna. It is not that just ISKCON people are meant to satisfy Krishna. Every jiva is meant to satisfy Krishna. Everyone. So, Prabhupada goes on. He says, this is a very important sentence also. Listen to this. I'll break it in parts. By Maya alone, Arjun thought that the temporary bodily relationship with his kinsman, can you read that? Yes. 
केवल माय के कारण ही अर्जुन ने सोचा कि उसके सजनों के साथ उसका शरीर शारीरिक संबंध was more important than his eternal relationship spirit his eternal spiritual relationship with krishna krishna ke shashvat adhyatmik sambandho se adhik mahatvapurna hai so arjun initially thought that it is more important not to kill bhishma dev not to kill dronacharya not to kill these all other family members arjun thought that that was the most important thing to do not to satisfy krishna just to satisfy himself so that he didn't have to kill his family members to dharma mein arjun ne vichar kiya ke drona chare ko nahi maarna vishnu pitama ko nahi maarna apne sadano ko nahi maarna ye zyada mahatvapurna hai Just listen again. Arjun says this in the same sentence, Prabhu. By by, uh, by Maya alone, Arjun thought that the the temporary bodily relationship with his kinsmen was more important than his eternal spiritual relationship with Krishna. अर्जुन ने सोचा कि उसके सदनों से उसका शरीर शारीरिक संबंध कृष्ण की शाश्वत आध्यात्मिक संबंधों से अधिक महत्वपूर्ण है एट दैट टाइम इन दिस सेक्शन ऑफ द भगवद गीता एट दैट टाइम ऑन द बैटलफील्ड अर्जुन वाज वेरी मच इल्यूजनड उस समय युद्ध हुई पर अर्जुन भ्रमित हो गए फूलिशली Arjun thought that my material family members were more important than Krishna. That was complete illusion on the part of Arjun. Arjun phone ko se bhavi kar rahe the ki mere jo sharirik swajan hai apni maa ke wo sambandh zyada mahatvapurna hai Krishna ke sath mere sambandh se. It's coming up and down the sound. Aawaz hai upar niche ka. Okay so here we go on it says the whole teaching of the gita is targeted toward this end gita ka sampurna uddesh isi aur lakshya hai Prabhupada says that a living being as Krishna's eternal servitor cannot be separated from Krishna Shri Prabhupada kehte hain Krishna ka nitya das hone ke karan Everyone heard that, but let's hear this again. This is just half of the sentence. It says that the, that a living being, we're all living beings. All of us are living beings, and all of us are eternal. Arjun didn't understand that, but we understand it now. So here, he's saying that the living being, as Krishna's eternal servitor, cannot. be separated from krishna to yahan par varnan hai ki jo jivatma hai wo bhagwan ka nitya das hai aur kabhi bhi krishna se alag nahi ho sakta and then the sentence goes on and our prabhupad says and his sense of being an identity apart from krishna is called maya krishna se apne ko vilak manna hi maya kehlati hai so maya means illusion maya ka arth hai bhram illusion is a easy definition illusion means something that deceives by producing a false or misleading impression of reality shall i say it again something This is what illusion is something that deceives the word deceives means cheating to koi aisi cheez jo chhal karti hai so someone who deceives by producing a false or misleading impression of reality vastavikta ki 
वास्तविकता को भ्रमित करने की इंप्रेशन ए फॉल्स और मिसलीडिंग इंप्रेशन ऑफ रियालिटी तो ऐसी एक छवि प्रस्तुत करती है वास्तविकता की एक गलत या भ्रमित करने वाली छवि प्रस्तुत करती है छल करती है उसे हम कहते हैं हमारा It's just like if you happen to take a walk in the desert and you look far away and you see a lake it looks just like a lake in the desert Jo aap manushtan mein chal rahe hain to aapko aisa pratit hota hai ki is manushtan mein ek talab hai There isn't a de- a lake in the desert that just looks like a lake but it's not कुरुक्षेत्र सुप्रीम हैव ए पर्पज टू फुलफिल कृष्ण So then, Prabhupada says, the living entities as separate parts and parcels of the supreme have a purpose to fulfill. I said that. Now, next one, having forgotten that purpose since time immemorial. उस उद्देश्य को भुलाने के कारण ही वे अनादि काल से. We as jivas have a purpose in our life. What is that purpose? To satisfy Krishna, we've already said that we are all meant to satisfy Krishna. That is our purpose of our life: to satisfy Krishna. जीवात्मा के रूप में हम सभी का जीवन का एक उद्देश्य है, लक्ष्य है। वो पहले बता चुके हैं, हमारा लक्ष्य है कृष्ण को संतुष्ट करना. Then he says, having forgotten that purpose since time immemorial, they are situated. in different bodies as men animals demigods etc to bhagwan ke sath apne sambandh ko bhulane ke kaaran ve manav pashu devta aadi devon mein sthit hai so what happened to arjun he had forgotten his intimate relationship with krishna and he thought his material family members were the most important not krishna that's why arjun was in so much illusion भगवान के साथ अपने सनातन संबंध को भूल कर वो समझ लगा कि ये जो दशवत परिवार के स्वजन है वो ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है ये उसका बदला था प्लीज डोंट बी डिस्टर्ब व्हेन आई से दिस बट ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू कम टू द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वी आर मीन टू सैटिस्फाई कृष्णा वी आर नॉट नेसेसरीली मीन to satisfy our family members our cousin brothers and uh, my ajja or ajji or all of these mamas and kakas i don't know so many languages there so aap mere is vachano ko sunkar vishit nahi ho jayega nadit nahi ho jayega jab hum keh rahe hain ki hamara uddeshya krishna ko santush karna hai hamare parivar ke sadasyon ko nahi aise bahut sare sadasyon hain Because Arjun was saying the same thing. My family members are more important to me than Krishna. That's essentially what Arjun said. They're more important to me 
यही चीज आज क्यों कह रहे हैं कि मेरे परिवार के सदस्य ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है कृष्ण से ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण सो Having forgotten that purpose, they are situated in different bodies like men, demigods, animals, etc. It means that we are captivated by illusion, by Maya, and we are wearing these different kinds of costumes, like an elephant costume. The elephant, the jiva, is there inside the elephant. It's a huge costume. The elephant is quite big, but the jiva is there, and the elephant is simply a, what what is it's a costume. It's not a living thing. It just happens to be a big costume, and it looks like an elephant. So, we are making our own body, and this is the reason why we are our own identity. Maya is given to us by a body, like the body of the elephant. And then this next sentence, such bodily differences. In the sentence before, the bodily differences were men, animals, demigods. So here Prabhupada is going forward. He says, such bodily differences arise from forgetfulness of the transcendental service of the Lord. You find that sentence? So it is because of our forgetfulness of Krishna. It is because we are thinking of what I want, not what Krishna wants. This is our biggest mistake. We are thinking, I want, I want, I want. I must have this. I have to have this. We have so much. Greed. This greed is there. Calm, crowed, and low. Lust, anger, and greed. So when the living entity is so greedy to have things, he cannot even think of thinking of Krishna because they're just filled with greed. So, how many is it? Krishna ke vishwaran ke baan hai. Hum yeh sochte hai. Ke mujhe kya chahiye? Krishna kya chahiye? Yeh nahi sochte. So Prabhupada goes on to say, but when one is engaged in transcendental service through Krishna consciousness, one becomes at once liberated from that illusion. Maya's business is simply to trick us to check and see whether we're serious about loving Krishna. Maya is watching very closely. So Maya, a one thing is to go to our examination that we are in love with Krishna or not. Maya is in love with Krishna. That is Maya's job. Krishna has given Maya that job. You check and see, you, you tease these living entities, you check and see what they're doing, how they're thinking, and in this way, uh, she bewilders the living entities. We all know the history and the story of Haridas Thakur when some bad person in the area where Haridas Thakur was living, that person was sending some beautiful young woman to try to entice Haridas Thakur for some enjoyment. <laughs> But because Haridas Thakur was so pure hearted, his heart was made of, of pure love. So Haridas Thakur, he didn't insult this prostitute. He just said, yes, yes, I will satisfy you. Please sit comfortably. I'll finish my rounds first. 
तो हरिदास ठाकुर का हृदय पूर्ण रूप से शुद्ध था भगवत प्रेम से तो उन्होंने इस परीक्षक का अपमान नहीं किया और उन्होंने इस परीक्षक को कहा कि आप यहाँ एक स्थान ग्रहण करें मैं आपकी इच्छा को पूर्ण करूंगा लेकिन जो मेरा नियमित रूप से नाम जब है वो पूर्ण हो जाएगा उसके पश्चात सो ही वॉज इन सम some uh, separate little bit separate place he was chanting his rounds this prostitute who had been sent to try to entice haridas thakur she was hearing his chanting to haridas thakur ek thode dusre sthan par baith kar apna naam jap kar rahe the aur ye vaishya jo unko pralaban dene aayi thi wo unke shuddh naam ko sun rahe the and sometimes she would get a little disturbed she was anxious why he is taking so long to kai baar wo gati chhod rahi thi ye vichar karke ki itna samay kyun laga rahe so he said mata ji please please be patient sit sit very uh, comfortably i i'm going to continue just finishing my japa rounds you please sit very nicely to me unko निवेदन करते हैं कि आप थोड़ा धैर्य रखें मैं अपना नाम जब पूर्ण कर देता कोर्स हरिदास ठाकुर वॉज नेवर गोइंग टू हैव एंजॉयमेंट विद दिस प्रॉस्टिट्यूट ही वॉज जस्ट बीन वेरी पोलाइट एंड स्लोली बट श्योरली लिसनिंग टू हिम चैंटिंग द हरे कृष्ण महा मंत्र शी एक्चुअली रियलाइज ओ वट एस इन फॉक पर्सन आई एम She felt bad about herself, what she was trying to do. Harida Sahab कभी भी उनके साथ भोग नहीं करते, लेकिन बहुत ही विनम्र प्रकार के साथ उनसे व्यवहार करते हुए, वो ऐसा है उनके पवित्र नाम को सुनना प्रारंभ किया, और फिर उनके अंदर में खेद हुआ उनके इस कार्य पर. So I think most of you know she realized the mistake that she made, and then she became puck of first class. devotee of krishna to se anubhuti hui ke jo galti unhone ki hai aur iske pashchat ve ek bahut hi pratham shreni ke bhakt ban gaye so prabha goes on to say we're almost finished with this prabha says but with one is engaged in transcendental service through krishna consciousness one becomes liberated from this illusion maybe i read that did you see okay next one one can acquire such pure knowledge only from the bona fide spiritual master aisa gyan keval tamam guru se hi prapt ho sakta hai and thereby avoid the delusion that the living entity is equal to krishna aur is tarah wah is brahm ko dur kar sakta hai ki jeev krishna ke tulya hai Clearly, we are not equal to Krishna. No jiva is equal to Krishna. Yes, but no jiva. Um, we, 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 Krishna is not equal to Krishna. The jiva is connected with Krishna, but the jiva is not equal to Krishna. Jiva Krishna is connected with Krishna, but the jiva is not equal to Krishna. Krishna is the supreme personality. He is Adi Purusha. He is the original person. He is the cause of all causes. That is Krishna, the cause of all causes. Krishna Pur Purushottam hai, Adi Purush hai, sabhi kaaran ke kaaran. Now Prabhupada says, perfect knowledge is that the supreme soul Krishna is the supreme shelter. for all living entities so what can they have poor gyan to yah hai ki parmatma krishna samasta jeevon ke paramashray hai and giving up such shelter the living entities are deluded by the material energy aur is tarah aashray ko tyag dene par jeev maya dwara mohit hote hain and they are imagining themselves to have a separate identity from krishna you give up your sthita pratham samasya for someone to think that they are separated from krishna they are separate from krishna they are not connected with krishna that is illusion par koi yeh kaisa sochta hai ki ve krishna se bhinn hai krishna se alag hai to yeh hai 
That is Maya. Prophet says, thus, under different standards of material identity, they become forgetful of Krishna. So, Prabhupada is saying that under material circumstances, their identity, they become completely forgetful of Krishna. They are distracted by material pleasures and material happiness and, and so they, they come become forgetful entirely of Krishna. So, Prabhupada says, when, however, such deluded living entities become situated in Krishna consciousness, it is to be understood that they are on the path of liberation. Muktir hitvan yatha rupam svarupena vyavastiti. Liberation means to be situated in one's constitutional position. Mukti ka art hai apni sambhadanik siti mein sthit ho as an eternal servitor of Krishna. Krishna ke nitya das rupa mein. Let's li listen to it one more time. Liberation means to be situated in one's constitutional position as an eternal servitor of Krishna. One who is actually liberated is unlimitedly enthusiastic in serving Krishna unlimitedly. He wants to go on and on and on serving and pleasing the senses of Krishna. So all of us sitting here today no one here had to come. This building was here. No one was forcing. Everyone that is here came because they, they wanted to. They made a choice. They came to this building today. And we're happy that everyone is here. Nice group is here today. So let us come to the understanding that one, we are eternal. We were never born, we will never die, and we will exist eternally. And we have come to understand that we are all connected with Krishna. We are parts and parcels of Krishna. And the last one I want to mention, we are all meant to satisfy Krishna. Our purpose in life is one thing and one thing only. How to satisfy Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Bhagavad Gita as it is Ki Jai. Going back to Godhead Ki Jai. We had an excellent translator here with us today. Thank you, Prabhuji. He's very humble. He doesn't like me to say those things. But anyway, he's really, really did a fantastic job. Some hand did come up. Anyone? I see someone is raising hand. Is there any way to get any mic to them? Yes, sir. 
तो कोई सच है दिस पर्सन अपना हाथ ऊपर दिस वन फर्स्ट दिस वॉज फर्स्ट दिस जेंटलमैन विद ब्राउन शर्ट पहले हाथ उठाया है उसको पहले हो सके हाउ डी डी आई पुट इट क्लोज टू योर माउथ हाउ डी डी हाउ डी डी आई अ प्रोग्राम सो आवर टाइम हिंदी में पूछिए हिंदी में पूछिए हिंदी में प्रश्न कीजिए माइक में माइक हम आपके चैनल को कैसे हाँ पर ये हम प्रॉमिस करते हैं आई आई प्रॉमिस आई आई की जो स्मोकिंग एंड टेबल को हर हाउ कैन आई चेंज और इम्प्रूव माय लाइफ एवरी डे आई प्रॉमिस माय सेल्फ दैट आई गिव अप टेबल और स्मोकिंग हाउ कैन आई ब्रिंग अबाउट फैट चेंज ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ कैन आई improve myself is it how to improve how to be a better person correct something like that the easiest way to correct yourself is to spend time here with all of these very nice devotees and you will learn so many things from them then you'll be blissful and you'll be dancing next time i see you you'll be dancing like that yes why not वी कैन से इन वन वे दैट वी आर ऑल पेशेंट्स इन अ हॉस्पिटल वी से दिस इज द टेम्पल बट वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल दिस लाइक अ हॉस्पिटल बिकॉज इवन इन इस कान there are some challenges devotees living here they have challenges in all the iskon temples there are some challenges sometimes some difficulties may be there even in a temple difficulties may be there to ye mandir hai ek ek drishti se ye ek hospital ke saman hai hum sab hospital mein patient ke saman hai bhakti mein jeevan mein bhi bahut sare bhakton ko alag alag chunautiyon ka samna karna padta hai so in a temple like this there should be and i'm sure there must be a temple like this with a significant amount of priti lakshanam some loving exchanges between one another to because we're all on the same page on the same page we all want to satisfy krishna we're all trying to please and satisfy krishna so if this guest of ours i suppose is a guest i'm not sure but if he comes regularly he'll meet all the devotees there'll be nice conversations nice discussions and he will grow spiritually and his life will become more and more blissful and happy can you just use a I mean, like make it brief but tell what i was said uh so this mandir mein aisi aasha hai भक्तों के बीच में प्रेम पूर्वक व्यवहार आदान प्रदान होना होना चाहिए इसे कहते हैं प्रीति लक्षण तो आप जैसे भक्त जब यहाँ पर नियमित रूप से आएंगे तो भक्तों के साथ आपका चर्चा होगा अलग अलग विषयों पर और इस प्रकार से प्रीति लक्षण में आपका जीवन आपके जीवन में बहुत बदलाव आप अगर हो पाएंगे इज इट ओके मे बी जस्ट वी डिन से completely properly but i hope that you got some understanding okay thank you some other hand went up i i'm not sure okay there's one he's already got the mic so okay yes prabhu ji is it if it's a difficult question you know i don't answer difficult questions i give them to my wife <laughs> she's very smart lady so If it's an easy question tell me I'll answer no problem <laughs> What Hare Krishna Hare Krishna As you told that our pretty best purpose is to satisfy Krishna Can you repeat that Ah uh, jaise aapne uh, yeah. yeah yeah in hindi you can then tell Jaise aapne bataya aapke hamara vastavik ya antim uddesh hai Krishna ko pasand karna So when we try to do some service 
when we render some service, how we will come to know that Krishna is satisfied with our service. So, when we Krishna ki kisi seva mein sanglapt na hote hain, Krishna ki seva karte hain, to kaise hume pata chalega ki Krishna hamse santosh hai? Can you tell to me? Because I, all I heard was the Hindi and I don't know Hindi. Uh, he is asking, and as you uh, said that our ultimate purpose is to satisfy Krishna. Mm. And then when we are engaged in service of Krishna, how do we come to know whether Krishna is satisfied or pleased by our service? Shall I tell you the easiest way you want me to tell? Shall I tell you the easiest way you can understand whether... I think the easiest way for you to uh, understand that Krishna is pleased is that when the kirtan is uproarious, you're going to be dancing like a peacock, you know. <laughs> you're going to be happy like anything. You're not going to want to go anywhere else. You just want to be here with all these nice devotees and that is the sign that Krishna is happy because you're feeling blissful dancing and singing and of course you're doing practical things also you must be maybe you're cooking maybe you're cleaning maybe you're you know doing some book distribution but when you serve Krishna and you please Krishna by your service then you'll feel happy that you're becoming closer and closer and closer to Krishna because your heart will become more filled up with love and when this heart is filled with love that love will continue to grow more and more even in the spiritual world the love will keep going bigger and bigger from the heart so yes is that okay enough is it okay very nice question very good question. Now there was some more. I saw. Okay, Prabhuji, I think your hand might. You can next. Yes. How to find out a guru? How to find out a guru? Oh. Okay. Well. Ultimately, in the ultimate issue, we're not worried how. Handsome they may be, it not, we not marry about, we not care about any uh, materialistic looking arrangements. We need to find someone that we have confidence that they will help us to awaken our love for Krishna. We need to try to find someone whose heart is big enough to help many others. Uh, become closer and closer and closer to Krishna. That is what Guru is trying to do. He's trying to bring all the souls back to Godhead. So, one can easily, let's say in India, one can travel whenever he feels like. He can travel out of his own local place. He can go to even some temples in some other states in India. And you can sit and listen to them. You can see how they... Uh, how they satisfy their other disciples, how you can listen to the classes given by someone and you might find yourself, oh, that was very wonderful class. Oh, they taught me, he taught me so many things. Like that, you have to put yourself in a position where you can learn about this person 
And over a period of time, if you are feeling more and more affection toward this person because of their qualities and their uh, wonderful uh, help that the Guru gives to his possible disciple, then you will gradually find yourself magnetically attracted to one or some other person. You will become attracted to someone who in your heart and mind feel like they can be the person that can take me out of my illusion and help me go back to Godhead. You just have to search and find someone that you feel you can be uh, benefited by. Okay. <laughs> Srila Prabhupada was a um, Prabhupada is a very special person in this world. We were fortunate, my Patni and I were fortunate to meet Srila Prabhupada and to have four years of time to be in his presence. So, Srila Prabhupada is a Shaktavish avatar. He was a very special soul that came from the spiritual world to carry out the mission of Lord Krishna. No one on planet Earth did as much as Prabhupada did to teach people about Krishna. Prabhupada was not known as Prabhupada among the people in the world. They just, everyone just knows Hari Ram, Hari Krishna. That's all you know. Hari Ram, Hari Krishna. Prabhupada never pushed himself in front of others so that he would become so well known by so many people. Prabhupada was not looking for any glory for himself. He just wanted to bring as many souls back to Godhead as possible. So Prabhupada is no longer with us since 1977. So there are disciples of Srila Prabhupada who have done fantastic service. They have benefited many, many souls by initiating them and enthusing them and encouraging them in their devotional life. So one has to find, it may take some time, you may have to go to this place or go meet this person here or go on some other area and find out what is this person like. Somehow or other you need to be in contact with uh, advanced devotees and you hear from them and after some time it may come to your ear and into your heart and you may have this genuine feeling that this is the person that I trust that I can give my heart and soul to. So you have to find that person. It takes some effort. So, 
There may be more things in your mind and heart that you want to understand, but because of time, we may have to keep it brief. Maybe something uh, you got out of this, otherwise, there's also very sincere and serious devotees here that can also help you answer that question. Is that okay? Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. There's just one more gentleman that we owe to. He's raised his hand and we want to give him it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm going to ask you to help me. I couldn't understand quite all the words. So your question is that we are qualitatively one, one with Krishna. And mm. quantitatively we are not one with Krishna. But how can we be qualitatively one when Krishna is the source and we are his energy? He is saying that Krishna is the source. Krishna is Adi Purusha, the original Supreme Being. Okay. We are yeah. emanations. And? We are his emanations. We are the part and parcel of Krishna. Yes. Then how we are qualitatively one in nature? How we are of the same quality as Krishna? Well, Krishna is unlimited in every possible way. Krishna being the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the source of everything, just like this sloka, Nityo Nityanam Chaitanas Chaitananam Eko Bahunam Yo Vidhati Kaman. You know that sloka? Nityo Nityanam. Oh, uh, well, I just said that Krishna is Adi Purusha. I think I said it like that. Krishna is the Adi Purusha, the original being. He is the source of everything. Everything comes from Krishna. Everything, every single thing comes from Krishna. Krishna Adi Purusha, Krishna is the source of So, this Nityo Nityanam means Krishna is the one individual person and then there are many others nityo nityanam chaitanas chaitananam there krishna is as this chaitanas he is brilliant krishna is unlimitedly brilliant in his intelligence and we are his parts and parcels we don't have the same capacity of intelligence and brilliance but we are part of krishna Nonetheless, then Eko Bahunam Yo Vididati Kaman means Krishna, the one Supreme Person Krishna is supplying the necessities of life to all the living beings. Everything is being supplied to all the jivas by Krishna. Krishna Nitya Krishna uh, 
आंशिक रूप से भगवान के अंश है कृष्ण एक है और हम सब तो है तो एक हम सबकी आवश्यकताओं को पूर्ण करते हैं You know this, uh, uh, how we say it, when the water and the sand meet together along a beach, we speak of, what is that? What is it name? Tatashta Shakti. So as Jivatmas, we are Tatashta Shakti. We are just a particle, very small particle. Yes, what's the word he says? Yeah, yes, yes. So that line of demarcation is there. <coughs> Krishna gives all the jivas the opportunity to turn to him and love him or they can turn away from Krishna because love must be voluntary. There's no meaning to love unless it is voluntary love. So the jiva is given the opportunity by Krishna to decide, do I want to go to this side and fall into Maya or do I want to go on the other side and love and serve Krishna? That Krishna gives us the freedom to decide. We have that freedom. But when you go back to this Chaitanas, Chaitanan, um, Krishna, there's, there's just no way to put any amount of intelligence and knowledge. You could not even begin to understand the Krishna. He is, he is unlimitedly in his consciousness. And we are Chaitananam, we are, we are just a fragment of what Krishna is in terms of intelligence and knowledge. So anyway, yes, this is, uh, we, we are blessed that Krishna has given us the opportunity to love him. Just like if one has a, I've given this example in many places, if, if I'm sitting in my room and my grandson comes walking by and I shout at him, right now you go get my chapels, quickly go, go, or I'll beat you. He'll go, he'll go and get them, he'll bring them back, he'll be shaking, he'll be nervous because he's thinking, oh my, my grandfather is really angry for some reason. But he'll go, but there's no love in that. He's not lovingly bringing the shoes. He's being forced. So Krishna is not forcing us into anything. Krishna is giving us a chance. Love him or turn our back on him. Krishna allows either one of those things. Now, when we foolishly decide to try to enjoy independently of Krishna, of course, we will never be independent of Krishna. It is impossible to be independent of Krishna because we are a part and parcel of Krishna. So we will never be separated from Krishna. But because of illusion, we end up doing many, many foolish things. And we ignore Krishna. And we simply think how I can gratify my desires. So that is what the material world is left here for. It is for us to try to see if we can enjoy unlimitedly like Krishna. But that is not a possibility. So Krishna has given us an opportunity to remain here until our heart has filled up with love for Krishna. Then Krishna will take us back and clearly in Bhagavad Gita it is stated that the jiva who goes back home back to Godhead will never return back to this material world again. Never come back. Okay? It's a, you understand the, all the English, so. Okay, we have to stop. We must have gone too long time, sorry. Okay, thank you all very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.